Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. My name is Jeannie and today is All in the Family Mandala and Circular Fall Mandala for me, Tuesday. Now I had all was recording this and all of a sudden my computer shut off on me. Second time it has done that today. Not sure what's going on with that, but I got a scan running. <laughs> To make sure everything is hunkador with that and we're going to attempt this again so this is my circular fall mandala and i am working on row 35 i have 15 more rows to go after this row and i'm going to be done with this one in a couple of weeks now this is my second circular fall mandala um this one's done in purples and teal different shades of teals that you can see there in the camera um i really enjoy making these they're so beautiful and i was talking to sis v today and she showed me hers that she has started and I'm like, what is that? Is that just a mandala? She said, no, that's the circular fall mandala. Because the colors that she's chosen, I didn't recognize it. And that's the beauty about these. And that's why I'm going to enjoy, love seeing all y'all's different colors that you pick for your mandala blankets. Um, they are, They're all going to be the same pattern. But each one of them will be unique in their own way and look totally different because of the colors that you choose. And I am so excited to see the colors that y'all chose. Now I'm going to work on this a little bit more and just chit chat with y'all. And then I'll bring in my All in the Family. And show you where I am with it. Um, show you the colors again of it and give you some updates on it. Well, see, see how long I had been talking to y'all. I didn't, I hadn't even been on here very long. What, two minutes and something? And I'm already at the end of this. And this was one double crochet in every stitch around, which was 384 double crochets. So... I'm done with 35 and the next row is 36 and that's going to be an increased row of double crochets so the last time y'all saw this I was here at 32 I've done 33 34 and 35 and I'll bring this in and show y'all the center So this is what it's looking like so far. Y'all, my butterflies there, so I know where to keep my hands. So that is the center of it. Beautiful. I am in love with these. The first one I made was kind of like in fall colors, and it's on the back of my couch. Um, I just, I, I'm in love with this one. My neighbor loves purples and stuff, so I may give this one to her. I don't know yet. I love it. It's so darn pretty. I don't know. She's sweet. She's the one who gave me Sandy. So I could give her this blanket, couldn't I? Let's see. My next color is going to be B, uh, D. So let me show you what the next color of that blanket is going to be. Well, Y'all don't want to look at it like that, do you? So my next color is going to be lilac and this is in Burnett Premium. So we got some Premier Basics going on here and we got some uh,
Red Heart Super Saver going on in this blanket. Yes, we do. So for row 36, we're still working in the back loops only. Now, I never joined where I left off at. I always find another spot in the blanket to join. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch and chain three. And we're going to double crochet in the next three. But yes, how's y'all's day been going? Now, y'all won't see this now till Wednesday. I don't know what in the world's going on with my computer. And then we're going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to work 37 double crochets. And then we're going to do two and then we're going to repeat that. I'm not going to do this whole row on camera with y'all. I'll get it. I'll get to a certain point and stop. And then I'll bring in the all in the family. And show y'all. But I had talked to y'all about a lot of stuff. And I don't even. Oh. Technology right. Oh one thing I did was. I have this on. Well it's back on manual now. I had it on automatic. Auto focus to see does it glitch in and out. Let me take it back off and let's see. Because see, it'll go up and change. See how it moves. And I'm trying to see would it be better in auto when I do tutorials or if I kept it on manual. Oh, one thing I was mentioning is it's taking YouTube longer to process the videos I know it's not my internet um y'all were able to watch I got the Canyon Shaw um tutorial out and we were able to watch it before it even said it was completely processed on YouTube side and I was watching it and it didn't look clear and I didn't like that so, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, none of y'all have left comments that it was not clear. And I would hope that you would. I would want you to let me know that something was wrong with it. Now, see, I ain't even counting my stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So, yeah, I would definitely want y'all to let me know if there's any any issues in my tutorials or any of my videos. Let me know. Um, that way I can fix it. Might not be able to fix that one. See, I was just real blurry. And see, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to go back to manual focus. And about 7 percent and it's pretty clear so I'm going to count these and make sure I got 37 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 21 yep so now I increase again and then do 37 more and then I'll stop on this one and then I'll show y'all the um, all in the family and we'll talk about the updates on that so um yeah y'all please let me know any anything wrong with my videos please 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 let me know in the comments down below i will not take offense to it um i would really appreciate y'all being honest with me and um let me know if there's something that i need to improve on um something that I need to do different or anything like that always let me know I believe in constructive criticism now because there's a difference in just outright 
being ugly with your criticism and then you have the constructive criticism which you're supposed to be able to take and do better by so I've always been able to take constructive criticism now I'm not gonna take no BS but and that's that's where the the BS part comes in with where you just being downright rude and mean no, we don't do drama over here. Let's see, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's 30. So, yeah, please let me know. I'm not going to hurt my feelings by telling the truth. I would rather you be honest with me than to lie to me. Lord, I don't even know now. I gotta go back and count. And this will be 37. And then I would do 2 as an increase. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. But we're going to stop here. So that will be row 36. In the... Um, Lilac. It's so pretty, y'all. And I don't know for so I don't know. It's hard. I line my colors up in the order that I want them to go in. But because of the way it worked up, all the teals are coming together. And all the purples are coming together. <laughs> but hey, it's still pretty. And I added the white in there because that white makes all them other colors just pop. Like, here I am. You see me? <laughs> so I'm going to put this back in its basket that it belongs into. And I'll finish that tomorrow. And, um, well, today now. And I'll show y'all some more progress on it next week. Now, let's talk about the... All in the family mandala. I absolutely love it, y'all. Love, love, love it. It is so, so beautiful. I actually like how it is working up. And um, so far, so good. No problems with the pattern. Okay, some of the updates that we're going to have for this. I'm on row 8. I'm going to do three of these sides for row 9, and I'm going to stop. And then on Saturday, if anyone needs help, let me know in the comments down below for row 9 and row 10. I know a lot of y'all have finished that part. But we may have some out there that has gotten stuck on that. And I want to be able to help y'all and everything else. So let me know in the comments of this video if you're going to need help for row 9 and 10. And I will work three sides of 9. And we'll do the other side Saturday during the live. And then um, I'll show you row 10. Now, speaking of row 9, Mikey does single crochets, and it's slip stitches. So, if you watched his tutorial, he didn't do what the pattern said, which is okay. And you do it again on an, another row, the same thing that you did on row 9. So, what he did when he got to that row, he just repeated what he did on row 9, which was the single crochets. I just want to bring that to y'all's attention. Um, also, Miss Margie from Margie's Crafty Corner is almost done with her All in the Family blanket. Now, when we introduced this one, I told y'all, I do not know which color specifically 
you would need an extra skein for, if any at all, because with the circular fall mandala, the first one I made, I needed about a hundred more yards for the color C that I did. Being that this is the sister of the circular file mandala, I would assume that we we're going to need more than one skein of one of these colors. Now, I did suggest maybe C, since we did in the circular file mandala. But again, I was not 100% sure. Miss Margie says she was going to Hobby Lobby today. And she was picking up another skein of her color A and her color F. So she's thinking she's going to need more than one skein of both of those colors. So right now, look at your stash of the yarn that you're choosing and see do you have extra of your color A and color F. If you do, go ahead and pull it and put it to the side. That way you don't grab that yarn and use it for any other project. Because you may need it for this. And we also have some questions written down that Veronica and I were talking today about. And um, we're going to ask y'all Saturday in the live. And see what y'all think. And it does involve the All in the Family Mandala. So. Now tomorrow. Well. It's today now. But to Wednesday. I started recording this on Tuesday. But my computer's been shutting down on me. I'm hoping to get through with this before it does it again. So. Wednesday. I will be doing the, the scrappy blanket. I'm going to show y'all how I pick my colors. And how I arrange them in the order that I chose to arrange them in. I'll have the calendars here to show y'all the pictures and stuff like that. Because I pulled from all four calendars for the month of January. So, and I'll show, um, we'll work it up on, on the, um, on the video. So, I am enjoying this. Also, there will be some links in my description box of other people that are doing the All in the Family Mandala. They put their videos out this morning. They're ahead of Veronica and me. <laughs> um, so, we're late getting our videos out. But, we're doing them. So, make sure to check out all of the links that I have put in the description box. And if you are not part of their family, please become part of their family. Give them a neighbor. Help them grow their community. Because um, we're all here for one thing, and that's for the love of yarn. Whether we crochet, we knit, we macrame, we um, do um, rugs using the punch needle or whatever. Um, or use the plastic canvas and different stuff like that. doesn't matter. As long as yarn and stuff is involved in it. Matter of fact, it don't matter what craft you do. You could be a cross-stitcher, embroiderer. You could do diamond art. Anything like that. You're welcome here to, to um, this is y'all's channel. I just run it. So, um, I do what I do because of y'all. If it wasn't for y'all. I'd probably be in the loony bin somewhere. So, um, yeah. I am enjoying this. Now, this yarn is all mainstays except for this. And this is Big Twist. Right now, I'm having a love-hate relationship with mainstays. I'm not going to say anything other than that right now. Because I don't want to give it a negative review. And then by the time I'm done with this blanket, I end up loving the yarn. So as I work with it more, I will let y'all know for my honest opinion what I really think about it. But right now, honestly, what I think my problem is, is the hook. 
because this is kind of sharp. This part right here, this hook, is kind of sharp on Susan Bates. And I think this is what's causing the yarn to do that. And it is kind of like it's not splitting the yarn, but it's like the it's taking the yarn apart from its twist. But you're not splitting the yarn. And it didn't do it on the yellow, but it did it on the um, the teal and the pink. I had already did up to row t uh, 10. And then Veronica and I was talking, so I took that out. Here's my teal where I put it in. And I hadn't got very far on the, the row 10 with the pink. And I just ripped it out and then caked it up, so... And I'll show y'all my colors. So this is G, which is pink. And this is how I label mine. Just like this. I take a craft tag. I write the type of yarn that it is. And these have 397 yards. And I usually put the yardage on there too. I just didn't on the pink one for some reason. My brain probably froze on me. Um, the brand mainstays is 100% acrylic, and it's pink, and 397 yards. So that is my color G. My color F, and I'm going backwards, is teal. And again, it is mainstays. And see, I didn't put it on that label either. 397 yards. Then E is that beautiful yellow that you see. And see, I got it on there. <laughs> Again, all of these are mainstays except for one color. Which is this. And this is Big Twist Grape. And if I'm not mistaken, this yarn was sent to me by Angie. I know I got a couple of skeins of Big Twist from her. And I want to say that grape was one of them because I didn't order any of the grape. And then Miss Tina and Miss Debbie Perea's favorite color, orange, is C. And again, this is Mainstays. And I didn't write Mainstays on that one. Lord, I must have been in the wine bottle that day. I don't know what in the world I was thinking. Then B is this beautiful green, and it really is beautiful. It's showing a lot darker on the camera than what it is. It's a little, it's a lot more brighter than that. But this is B, and it is green. And like I said, all of them are mainstays except for the grapes. And then we have, what I did was I started it yesterday, Monday, and I got my hook sizes on there, got what it is, and it's the blue, and I wrote the yardage on the back of this one. So, those are my colors, and I cake them up, it makes it easier to work with, and I have a bucket that I put all of them in. For safe keepings. And then when I'm done with the project, I put the project in the bucket too. It's actually a little basket that I got from Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree Plus store. But yeah, that is the all in the family mandala. Up to row eight. I am loving it and I am enjoying watching everybody else's videos on them and seeing the colors that they chose. Y'all, please go check them out and look at the colors that they choose because I tell you, they're all going to look different. Y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful night. I will see y'all today again. Today is now Wednesday. It's 12, 12 a.m. here. I'm fixing to stop this video and get it uploaded. But y'all have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see y'all in the YouTube streets. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.